Hello everybody and welcome to a lazy lockdown episode of the Greek Kosovo channel. My name is Tam and today we're going to talk about Greek yogurt. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about Greek yogurt, uh, how to choose it, uh, where to find it, the benefits, why it's good for you uh, compared to the other regular yogurts out there, how to incorporate it in your kitchen and in your diet and everything else that you need to know. Uh, so if you like yogurt, if you like dairy products, or if you want to know everything about Greek yogurt, keep watching. sure that you press the subscribe button down at the bottom of your screen otherwise I'm gonna buy every single Greek yogurt in your local supermarkets and you're not gonna find anything to buy for yourself. If you think that I don't have the power to do it, you're right. But at least if you press the subscribe button you will know every time we upload a new episode here at the Greek Sophie channel. So let's start with the benefits of having Greek yogurt in your diet. Now Greek yogurt differs from other yogurts because it goes through a straining process to remove the whey. In case you don't know what whey is, it's a liquid that contains lactose, which is the natural sugar found in milk. And now, Greek yogurt makers add an extra step to their process. So uh, the excess water and the lactose uh, is drains out, which means that essentially they use four times the milk to create the same amount of yogurt. That's why it's most costly. It's creamy, rich, uh, it has less sugar, more protein, and a has a slightly tangy taste. Um, there are benefits to eating Greek yogurt, which I will tell you in a minute, uh, when compared to uh, an regular yogurt. Uh, so you can go and choose what best suits your dietary needs. Now, unfortunately, some manufacturers add thickening agents to regular yogurt and market it as Greek style yogurt, which shares it doesn't share the same health benefits as Greek yogurt. Uh, so uh, instead of using four times the milk to properly drain the whey, uh, they don't drain the whey at all. They add the thickening agents. The uh, yogurt is slightly thick to resemble Greek yogurt, but it has the same amount of sugar. It has whey and therefore lactose um, and the taste. It's not as good. You can easily uh, see the difference. The benefits of Greek yogurt. Benefit number one. In general, yogurt has a much higher amount of protein than milk. So your body uses protein to build bones, muscles, cartilage, skin, hair, and blood. Uh, Greek yogurt is a great source of protein, especially if you need to avoid meat. Uh, it can have as much as twice as much protein as a regular yogurt. Um, the extra protein will help you feel full and leave you feeling satisfied. Now, commercial Greek yogurts uh, at supermarkets uh, have almost double the amount of protein that you will find in normal uh, yogurts, um, standard yogurts. Uh, so I would guess uh, one cup of uh, plain, low fat, conventional yogurt usually contains about five to 10 grams of protein, uh, where Greek yogurt uh, sometimes averages up to 13 or 20 grams of protein. Another benefit of Greek yogurt is that it's high in calcium. Uh, calcium is key to building strong muscles uh, and helping your vital organs function. Uh, your body doesn't produce calcium on its own, so without enough calcium, uh, if you're a child, you may not grow as tall as possible. Uh, and if you're an adult, uh, you can be at risk of osteoporosis. Uh, now, a serving of Greek yogurt uh, has about 18 to 19% of your daily uh, value uh, in calcium. Greek yogurt is also an excellent option for older adults that wish to maintain their bone health. Uh, it's also ideal because it's convenient, it's easy to eat, and especially for those who have trouble chewing. Another benefit. Now, salt is a big red flag, and many consumers are looking for lower uh, products in salt terms. Greek yogurt has less sodium by up to 50%, 
Plus, it still has a full body taste without the high sodium content. So if you want to reduce your salt content in your body, Greek yogurt is the way to go. Now, for those of you who are watching the carbohydrate intake or have a sensitivity to carbohydrates, like people uh, suffering from diabetes, uh, then Greek yogurt is your ticket. Uh, regular yogurts have about 15 to 17 grams of carbohydrates per cup, where Greek yogurt averages around nine grams, so a lot less carbohydrates. Um, because Greek yogurt contains less carbohydrates than regular yogurt, it has less lactose, uh, which, as I said before, is the sugar in dairy products. Uh, and lactose can sometimes upset people's stomachs. Uh, so Greek yogurt is especially helpful for people who have uh, lactose intolerant. Um, another benefit, Greek yogurt is packed with probiotic, probiotics. Uh, probiotics are healthy bacteria that can help boost your immune system and decrease stomach issues such as diarrhea and pain. Now, your body needs vitamin B12 uh, for red blood cells to form, uh, the brain to function and DNA synthesis. Many people choose to supplement uh, vitamin B12 into their diet, but Greek yogurt offers a powerful natural alternative. One serving of Greek yogurt can have up to 21% of your daily value in vitamin B12. People who are vegetarian usually lack vitamin, B vitamin B12 because the vitamin is naturally found in animal products such as fish, meat and eggs. Therefore, Greek yogurt is an excellent way to add vitamin B12 to your diet. One of the easiest tests you can do, and you can do it yourself at home as well, is get a few yogurts like I did here and test them and try them and you will see the difference between a Greek yogurt, a Greek style yogurt uh, and any other type of uh, yogurt or natural. And one of the best tests is to basically leave a spoon. I will show you how. So let's put the spoon there. As you can see, the Greek yogurt here is a very thick and this is, as I said before, because it is strained so you use four times the milk uh, for the same amount of yogurt and as you can see it's so thick that the spoon easily stands on its own now this greek inspired strain natural yogurt let's see if it passes the test so it passes the test but you can see there's a little bit of liquid as you can see so if you move if you move the yogurt, the spoon kind of falls to the side, as you can see. Well, here, it's still thick. I'm moving, it, I'm moving it around and it stays the same. Okay, so you can see. Now, the Greek style yogurt. Again, there's a little bit of liquid. And if I move it, <laughs> as you can see. The spoon moves left, right and center. And finally, the natural yogurt is just very, very liquid. So as you can see, this is a very thick and it has a slightly tangy taste to it as well. So this is the initial, let me just Back, the back, the back. Um, so immediately you can see the difference, especially with the normals, with well, normals, with the yogurts that you're used to uh, in the UK or in the US and the Greek yogurts. Uh, this one has not been strained, so it's quite liquid. Now, if I turn around and look at the ingredients, let's go to the ingredients list you will see also a big difference in the contents. Now the Greek yogurt, because it has been strained, so the whey has been strained, is going to have less calories, less sugar, but more protein compared to the others. So let's start with the normal yogurt. You most probably won't be able to see it like this, so I'm just gonna put uh, a photo of the ingredients in your screen. And it's all for 100 grams of yogurt, okay? So you don't need to worry about the mismatch in sizes. So per 100 grams, this one is 72 calories. This one is 125 because this is a full fat one, okay? 
this one is 96 and the Greek yogurt is 54. Now again, this is zero fat and this is why. So forget the calories for the time being because it is difficult to compare like for like if you have a, a zero fat yogurt and a full fat yogurt. Um, but with regards to sugars, you've got 4.9 grams per hundred. You've got nine, sorry, 4.9 here as well. So exactly the same. 3.9 because it is slightly strained. And just three grams uh, on, on this one. Let's see the protein. This one, the protein content is 4.2 grams. Uh, this one, the protein content is 5.1, so higher one. Uh, this one, 9.2, so as you strain it, the protein content goes higher. And finally, 10.3 grams on the Greek yogurt. So clearly, this one has almost double the protein that your natural yogurt has. So you can see immediately the difference between the Greek yogurt and the other yogurts. Higher protein content, lower sugar content, lower calorie content. Now, one of the great things about Greek yogurt, uh, apart obviously from its taste, because it's delicious, but you can call me biased because I'm Greek, uh, it's, it's um, how diverse it is with regards to using it in food. So for example, we already know that if you want to make tzatziki, then Greek yogurt, no other yogurt, Greek yogurt is the yogurt to do. And I have put in the uh, description of this video below uh, the other video that we've made on how to do an authentic traditional Greek yogurt, um, sorry, Greek tzatziki uh, dip using uh, Greek yogurt. Uh, so you can go ahead after this video and watch it as well. Uh, but it's not just the tzatziki dip and it's just not just great to eat it on its own. Uh, one other thing is it is great breakfast and I will show you what I mean right now. So all you need to do is some Greek yogurt. Now depending on what you have with your breakfast you know some granola okay so instead of milk you have greek yogurt and granola now a lot of friends when they have greek yogurt and granola uh, for breakfast they say well it is very thick so i'm having a little bit of a problem here it's not as liquid like if you have it with milk for example or with normal yogurt well, I say, well, there's an easy way around it. All you need to do is add some Greek honey to it. There we go. I'm using a lovely Greek orange honey. And all you need to do, give it a nice, okay. And this is it. This is our breakfast. Or you can experiment depending on what you like in your breakfast. Okay, I'm not asking you to put fried eggs and bacon in there, but some lovely chunks of fresh banana. There we go. Delicious. And you can add as much or as little honey as you like. The honey, again, will make it slightly more liquidy. Now, I personally use yogurt, Greek yogurt as well, as a substitute for my spreads. So instead of putting mayo, for example, in a sandwich, or instead of using butter, I use Greek yogurt. Let me just show you. Uh, let that on the side. It gives it a really, really great taste and it's a lot healthier than using mayo or butter in there. Some people may say, well, isn't it bland? 
Definitely not. Try it and you will see. A couple of slices of cheese. And there you have it. Now, you also have to be very careful in the market because many yogurts that try to save costs. Um, as I said, with the Greek yogurt, you need four times the milk to have the same amount of yogurt. So a lot of companies will say, well, I want to make a Greek style yogurt. Let's name it like that. But I don't want to be <laughs> buying four times the milk. So what they do, and especially um, outside the United Kingdom, in places like the US, for example, is they use different methods. So some of them, for example, we use pectin to thicken the yogurt. But what that means is that the way it's still there, so still the sugar, and you add pectin, and the taste is really, really not <laughs> uh, of Greek yogurt. It's a foul taste. Um, some other use different methods, different mechanical methods, that again, um, they give the thickness to the yogurt, uh, but they don't give the great taste to the yogurt. And uh, if you read the ingredients on the label, uh, normally, you will see things like pectin, for example, or other ingredients apart from milk, which is the only ingredients, the only ingredients you should see uh, there, uh, that gives the thickness. So now that you know all the benefits of Greek yogurt, it's time for you to venture out and get some for yourself. Uh, now I have put in the comments below some links to some really great Greek yogurts, uh, and I'm hoping that you will be able to find some in your local area. And also, uh, I have put the links to a video that we have previously made on how to make a great traditional Greek tzatziki using Greek yogurt. Uh, if you have any comments, any questions, uh, or you would like to know more about Greek yogurt or anything else, please comment below and we'll be happy to answer your questions. Now, I'm going to get some Greek yogurt. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, keep an eye on your screen in a few seconds because they are going to be appearing some episodes of the Kikosovi channel that you might find useful. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you.